I think it was when around about the time Cypress Avenue was on in Dublin, I was writing it and I felt like, I thought it was gonna be the last play I would ever write. And I thought I would kind of put all my rage and hurt and joy at show business and theater into the play. Uh, and then the Travers got uh, in touch in Edinburgh and they asked me if I had any plays that hadn't been produced. Yeah, yeah. which is where I saw it for the first mm. time. And it blew me away and I was sort of shocked and surprised and delighted. And yeah, it's interesting that you say that you wrote it um, so quickly because I think there's something about that energy in the writing that's really as exciting as theatre gets. You know, it's like yeah. pretty rock and roll, close to rock and roll theatre, I think. I love the production in, in, in Scotland, but I did think, could it be really interesting if you managed to cast an actual bona fide Hollywood movie star? Yeah, yeah. And so when we sent it to Woody Harrelson, it was just really thrilling. It helps that he's a big movie star, but he's also like a fantastic actor and so great, great with language and, and, and dialogue and, and, and has such a great intensity, you know, he's kind of perfect for the part. Yeah, I mean, um, really brilliant casting and generous to the other performers, totally. Louisa Harland, who's totally brilliant, yeah, who you yeah. worked with as an actor, didn't you? Yes, I was uh, Claire's dad in Derry Girls, so I, you know, I'm very proud of that fact. And then we got Andy Serkis's return yeah, to the stage. Yeah, I mean, an incredible actor. It's just an unbelievable cast. Yeah, and a real event for people that remember him from 20 years ago, whenever mm. he was last on stage. The play is quite absurd and this situation is quite absurd, but it's also good fun and the play is good fun. Yeah. So, yeah. And I think we're kind of open enough to meet those sort of weird uh, reflections and mm -hmm. refractions in the room. But certainly like it's complicated for me to to absolutely know every move that Lee is making. And I'm, I'm my note to myself is to not dominate the conversation to tell Andy exactly what I would be doing in that situation. Ruth, the playwright, is quite sort of uncompromising and has enormous potential for violence. Um, and I hope that isn't, that isn't me and that life doesn't mirror art in that respect. Me too.